Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and welcome back to the Saturday Sit Rip. My name is CB Harris. So we have a few things to talk about today. Uh, first off, um, I want to tell you guys, uh, wait till the end of this video. There is going to be the rules and all the information about the giveaway, the 2345 giveaway. Uh, so be sure to stick around to the end of this video for all that information. Okay, so first off, I got a, a letter in the mail from Tsunami Arms. I want to show you guys what they sent me because uh, very cool, uh, very cool company if you ask me. Um, I've done a review video before on uh, one of their drop-in triggers for AR-15. It is possibly the best value you're going to find for a drop-in trigger for what you get. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome trigger. Uh, very well made. Uh, very little take up at all. Uh, reset is just, you know, it's very quick. It's a very positive, you know, feeling reset as well. It's a very good trigger. Um, uh, definitely an improvement over any mil spec trigger you could ever hope, you know, to find. So uh, be sure to check that out. I'll leave a link down below. But what they sent me was uh, this right here. I'm going to put a close up because you guys probably can't see it very good. But this is a slide plate for a Glock handgun. Uh, and not just that, but they've engraved it with AWI. So uh, very personalized to the channel here at Armed With Information. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I will actually, I think I'm going to do a review video on this. Um, it's probably going to be, you know, month, two months, something like that. But uh, be on the lookout for that. Next, I want to talk about and show you guys uh, the holster that I completed, that I finished making for the EOD Memorial Auction. And that is right here. Okay, so if you guys saw the video last week, it, this is, doesn't look anything like this, does it? Uh, we have moved quite a bit past uh, where we were last week. So uh, this is completed now. Again, this is a, uh, a storm gray carbon fiber, and it is hunter's orange on the inside. So it's lined with hunter's orange. This is a, a competition style holster, so it's cut way down in the front right here, making it, you know, drawing your handgun a lot easier. Uh, it has got... Uh, some retention or some tensioning screws I should say so you can adjust the retention make it a little bit tighter and snugger or you can loosen it up a little bit uh, this is a drop leg type of holster so it's going to drop it pretty far down uh, right in your natural you know normal grip you know for most people maybe not everyone it does have a little bit of adjustment you can move it it'll go up an inch if you if you want to do that um, the person who wins this in the auction uh, they, they're going to have an option as well. I'm going to include some extra belt loops, uh, some extra hardware and stuff like that as well. So you could actually unbolt it here and move it up closer to the belt line um, for whoever wins that. Uh, speaking of the auction, if you are in the Fort Walton Beach area on May the 5th and you you know want to stop by, see what it's all about, I'll include a link down below to all the information about the auction. Uh, so be sure to check that out. If you guys manufacture something, you make something, you want to donate, um, it is a very, very worthy cause. The EOD Memorial, this is for military explosive ordnance disposal technicians uh, killed in action. That's what the memorial is for. And the auction raises funds to maintain that memorial, to bring family members in who, uh, you know, their, their soldier, sailor, marine, or airman has died, in, you know, in action, you know, serving their country. And they bring those people in to the memorial. So they have to pay for, you know, lodging and airfare and things like that. So it does go to a very worthy cause. Uh, uh, sorry, I'll get off that soapbox now. But if you guys want to check that out, be sure to do that. Uh, I'm also, I have also made a matching magazine holder to go to, to go with it. Uh, this, the belt loop can be adjusted so you can adjust the cant a little bit. Uh, so you can make it a little bit easier to do those mag changes. So I think, I think this is one of my best holsters to date. Uh, one of the best ones that I've ever made, so I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I think I don't know how much it's going to go for, and you know what? That isn't even doesn't even really matter so much. The fact is that I feel like I did really good work for a very good cause. So um, this is going to be going in the mail probably this next week sometime. It's got to get there by the auction, you know, sometime. So I'm going to send it out, and um, hopefully, hopefully it'll you know make a little bit of money for the good cause. Now. Let's talk about the giveaway, okay? So we have reached 2,345 subscribers on the channel. So we're going to have a 2345 giveaway. Uh, what you're going to win is a holster that matches this one, okay? So it's the same color scheme. It's going to be this storm gray carbon fiber and a hunter's orange on the inside. Uh, it's not going to be a competition style holster, but it's, it's going to be nice. I promise you that. 
Um, it is going, I'm going to, you know, I'll go all out. I'll make sure that it looks great. And if it doesn't look great, I'm going to start over and make sure I do it again. All right. So uh, I, I have a very limited, limited number of handguns that I can make a holster for. Um, I don't do this for a living. I don't, you know, do this as a business. Uh, I do this as a hobby. So uh, I have a very limited number of handguns that I have that I can mold it for. I have a couple of holster molds like this one. This is the Canik TP9 uh, Elite. Okay, so I do have for a few things. Um, I'll put a list right up here so you guys can check that out. If your handgun is not on that list and you win, um, ask me. Ask me for something and I will do my best to try to find it. Okay, if if I can't find it, at the very least, I can I can make it for a an AR-15 magazine or something like that. So I, I know that's not a holster, but I can make you something that you're going to be able to use. I hope. So um, just ask, okay? And that is obviously if you win. Now, you guys are going to need some rules, right? Because contests have to have rules. Uh, so first off, you need to be a subscriber to this channel. That first foremost, you need to be a subscriber. So find that subscribe button. It's right down below. Okay, put your crosshairs on it and then click that trigger on your mouse. That's it. That's all you got to do to be a subscriber. I don't know why people want to enter contests and they don't subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it, it costs you, how much time did that take? You know, if you clicked on that right now, how much time did that take? What, a second, two seconds, maybe? And you didn't even have to stop watching to do it, really. So, um, that's first and foremost, you need to be a subscriber. Second, you need to be 18 years old or older. Uh, my reasoning behind that is that, you know, we're talking about a handgun holster and, you know, I understand that some kids might have handguns or they use their parents' handguns and things like that. If you are a, under the age of 18 and you want to win this, talk to your parents, have them enter for you, something like that, okay? Uh, it's, it's really not that difficult. Now, that is 18 by the time May the 6th rolls around, which is the day I'm going to announce the giveaway. So if you're 18 by then... That's all it's going to take. Uh, otherwise, you need to be a resident of America, United States, or Canada. I know this is going to cause some problems. I know there's going to be people that are a little upset about that, but um, <clears throat> I can't keep track of laws in every single country in the world. Okay? So, some countries, it's illegal for me to send a holster to. I know that sounds crazy. It's just a holster. It's not a gun. But there are countries out there that it's illegal for me to send a holster to. And I can't be expected to know each country's laws. So I don't want to I don't want to break some international law or anything like that. So you need to be a resident of North America, United States, or Canada. Okay. So as long as you are a resident of United States or Canada, you can enter as long as you meet the other requirements. Okay. So finally, the thing you need to do is leave a comment down below. Okay, and it doesn't have to be exact wording, you don't have to get it exactly right, but something to the effect of, I want to win a holster for blank. I want to win a holster for a Glock 19. I want to win a holster for 1911. Yeah, something like that, okay? So just leave a comment and that's it. That's all you have to do besides being a subscriber, 18 years old, and a resident of North America. Now, there is a way to get two extra entries. So what you need to do head on over to Instagram, okay? Uh, follow my Instagram page. You're gonna have to um, find, there's a, gonna be a picture for the giveaway. Leave a comment there and say the same thing. I want to win a holster for Glock 19, whatever it is that you want to win a holster for. Uh, so leave that there as well. Now, the third way you could get an entry is to do the exact same thing at Facebook, okay? Uh, so head on over to Facebook. I'll leave. There'll be links down below to those. Follow me there. Like and share that picture, that uh, image, and then again, leave a comment saying I want to win a holster for whatever it is that you want to win a holster for. You have to be entered here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna you know add those on. You may be on the list twice, three times, whatever it is. So I'm not gonna just say oh this person entered three times. It may have your name Tom Smith, uh, Tom Smith, and Tom Smith. You know. So. And then I will draw one of those, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you will win. I know somebody's going to. So, um, anyway, I, if you have any questions about this con this uh, giveaway, leave it down in the comment section. Just let me know. I will get back with you as soon as I can. Again, this contest is going to close on May the 5th. 
that is the day of the EUD auction, the day that this is going to be auctioned off in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Um, and then I will announce the winner on May the 6th. Okay, so that's a, those are a Friday and a Saturday, respectively. So the uh, giveaway is going to, the, the entry is going to end on May the 5th. And on the 6th, on a Saturday set rep just like this, I will announce the winner. So good luck to everyone. Uh, I always appreciate when you like and share. Okay, so if you want your friends to have a chance to win this holster, share this video and let them know. Because obviously, the more people we have as subscribers, uh, maybe we'll have a three, four, five, six giveaway sometime later this year. That'd be great. Uh, hopefully, we can get there before the end of the year. That'd be awesome if you ask me. So, um, anyway, uh, it is always appreciated when you like and share the videos. And again, if you're not a subscriber, find the subscribe button and click on it. That way, you can enter into this contest, this giveaway. And um, I always appreciate when you guys do that. So. Uh, remember, your mind, that is your most important weapon, and it's vital to be armed with information. Until next time, take care and be safe. Charlie Bravo, out.